Cyber Ninja Online guys, and we're back here with some Craft the World. I think this is episode 14. Pardon me if I'm wrong, but um, I haven't really played in a while, so we're just gonna jump into it here. The last thing I think we did was try to work on the base. I think I was working on, yeah, fortifying it out. I don't remember what I said I was gonna do last one, but um, let's go ahead and shear some of that. Let me take a look and see what I had planned out. I did not mean to do that. He's making planks. I don't think I had too much planned out to be honest with you. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll go from where we left off and try my best here. Let me take a quick look at my uh, our dwarves and see where we stand. We all need boots. I think that's it. Do I have any right now? No. I just went to equip it again. And I clicked out of the game. Alright. Boots, boots. I can make two pairs of boots right now. Let's go ahead and do that. At least some people have boots. I think I'm gonna hold off on the base for now. Oh yeah, I was gonna get stone for the stone relief. That's what I was gonna do. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off on the base for now. We'll see where we end up with that. I think they're all done over here and whatnot. Looks like they are. So let's go ahead and designate. That. And I'm gonna have them start on that too. Yeah. So let's kick up the speed here. I think I got a good uh, overview of what we're doing and whatnot. We got a monster wave in about 13 minutes, so that's something to look forward to. And I have no food on my table. It's never good. Let's put out some of the fish stew. So I have a crap ton of that. Well, it says they're working on two stone reliefs. <laughs> oh yeah, we did find the monster, or monster. We found the portal in the uh, last video too. I do remember that. Where do we sit on the tech tree? And is there anything I can work on? Advanced cooking, advanced weaponry. I could probably do the advanced cooking. I'm sure there's something that I can finish. And flour for all that stuff. What was the other thing? Serving spoon. I don't want to use up all that. Where is flour? So let's go ahead. Turn all that into that. And then go ahead and flip it all into that. Hopefully someone starts on that, and then we can uh, finish off advanced cooking there, because it won't take us very long. Base is kind of flooding right now. Not that you have to worry that much. If it's just a small amount of water, it won't ever accumulate like that. It'll just dry up before it happens. I think he'll be fine fighting that. I mean, he's almost already killed it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and stick that there, stick that there, I want that there. This is the next major area I'm gonna start working out, working on, is this area right here, so. 
I'm gonna want to work on that. A lot of mining, I think, is gonna be done in this uh, recording. This is my sit down and play time. Also, got to give them some time to uh, catch up on gathering too. I don't think they have a whole lot to catch up on in ways of uh, crafting. That's the word. I don't want to say cooking. That could be mis uh, misinterpreted. I also need to find me some more borers. There's one there. The sheep. Until I Random chicken. I'm gonna leave the chicken. Of course there's another boar there. And that's it, eh? I'm gonna leave that one. Even though I probably should uh, do something about it so he unsticks. I'm just gonna leave it for now. And we shall progress further on this mine. Couple more there. So another torch down. It's gonna get dark pretty fast. Also, let's throw a bridge there. And I believe I was throwing bridges somewhere else. No, I think I covered it all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So yeah, I kinda just have to chill out with all this ordering around. Let them gather as much as they can. I think I'm good on wood now. I should be, yeah. Once they finally gather all that wood, I'll be good. So I'm just going to chill out for a minute and let them gather and whatnot. Pretty soon I think I'll start um, more breach and clear. I'm going to do a, uh, what's the next one? I think it's bomb defusal. I'm gonna do a defusal campaign and do all the missions uh, for the bomb defuse. The bomb defuse isn't bad. It's a uh, capture and defend type objective. Like I said, it's not bad. Uh, I don't mind it. It's it is fun. My favorite's still got to be escape plan. It's the uh, the last one I am gonna get to, unfortunately. But like I said, it's pretty fun. That doesn't seem right. Let's go throw a ladder there. But yeah, on top of that, um, I have my next Let's Play. It's going to be a short one, but I have that picked out. I've already mentioned it. It's going to be Reveal the Deep. It's going to probably go up after uh, the three videos I make out of this recording right now. Then the, after that, I have no clue. But I definitely will think of something. I don't want to dig too far down on this side, but it's going to link up anyways. And then for like series, I'm going to be working on the Craft the World series. I'm probably going to interpret, or interpret, incorporate some uh, Breach and Clear too. But before that, I'm probably going to start a new series. I think I, I know what I'm going to start, but I'm not 100%. There's my stone reliefs finally. That way I can at least finish up here. But yeah, I'm just going to hopefully do some uh, expansion and then... Uh, in February, hopefully, if all goes right, I can get something big going on, so we'll see about that. But, steps, 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 one small step at a time. So for now, craft the world. i seen them carrying the, well actually i seen them making the flower, I don't know if we've uh, produced any yet, but... As soon as we do, I can uh, finish off the advanced cooking, which will be nice. Like I said, I just kind of got to chill. I am going to slow it down. All the dwarves in home. So I got two minutes, and because I have a lot more dwarves and they can get scattered about easy, that's kind of what I want to do. I also, no, they're all really good on health. I don't think I gotta do anything. There was one dwarf that was lost. Unfortunately, sometimes they still get uh, stuck in their pathfinding. You gotta, gotta, kind of gotta help them out. 
There we go. That's why I gave myself two minutes there. At least they uh, cleaned up all up here. There's another sheep. But I don't gotta worry about that. I got five sheep right now. And I think I have a crap ton of wool. Nine wool. That's, yeah, that's a lot considering. Still, that boar is just chilling. Actually, that's a different boar. Damn it. See, if that happens, they won't jump up. Not that it matters anyway, because they don't have anywhere to go. And they won't do that jump down. So they're basically stuck there. Sadly. But it'll be okay. Hopefully, I'll notice the next oncoming goblin attack too. Because I know the last ones that attacked me were pretty sneaky. They did manage to steal quite a lot from, well, I wouldn't say quite a lot. They managed to steal some stuff from me before uh, I caught on. But we'll see how that goes. A sheep could be sheared. Dude's still working on uh, planks. He's doing flowers. So I do have some flower right now. None in my uh, stockpile, but at least it's caught up. Just gonna wait for these monster portals. Well, monster portal to spawn. I'm not sure if they're gonna send two yet or not. But I'm gonna wait for it to spawn. Uh, designate out any enemies, and yeah, I'll go from there. Shouldn't be too, too bad. The last wave, they actually broke through my door, but I think that was partly because of uh, my dwarves really didn't respond fast enough. Like, they let them get that good handle, and like. I couldn't clear out all the enemies, obviously, that fast, so they kind of just had it. I'm not going to bother designating him. He's going the opposite way. He's going to be stuck down there now, so. Or not, you know. I'm a compulsive liar. My games prove me wrong all the time, so. No, I, I completely forgot that they can fly up that. I did hear a dwarf, and fuck. See, I was afraid of that. That means that I'm going to want to layer this. Because if I don't, they're just going to break down through that way. And that's going to be horrible. So yeah, I'm going to do another layer of dirt here and just raise the ladder up. Um, they, they will break through two layers. I don't know about three. I'm pretty sure that they don't try to break through three. But there's only one way to find out. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that they're going to break through that. There's not really a whole lot I can do about that. I would let them go out, but I'm not risking that. Not until they clear a lot of this out. You know what? probably a stupid move but I'm gonna let them go out. so yeah right after uh, we survive this night that's gonna be the first thing I do is throw up some more dirt there as long as they stick together and fight they should be fine hopefully none of them ju jumps down that hole because if they do then I'm gonna get screwed they're gonna get stuck and killed I can guarantee you it and that's partly what I'm scared of. Is... Okay, cool. He didn't jump down. You go rest. I should be fine. There's that ghost. Yeah, I should be fine. I don't see these guys posing that big of a threat to me. I need this cleared ace up. I want dirt there. And I'm going to want to build this dirt up. Also going to need another ladder, obviously. Uh, let me throw down that scaffolding first. Throw that there. Another scaffolding. Throw that there.
hopefully, now that I have three layers, they won't try doing that again. Because that's going to really hurt me, especially later on too. I mean, I'm going to obviously progressively get better equipment and stuff, but they do progressively get stronger and stuff, obviously, so... With that being said, it's well possible that if they do that, they can easily kill me or cause a lot of havoc or stuff. It's kind of why I have this trap door. If they happen to do that, my dwarves will fall back here, and this will be declared, like, inside the shelter now instead of just this. I mean, like, right now, this whole, this whole thing is declared shelter. But what I'm trying to say is like this is technically my entranceway to my shelter. But if this door goes down, then this is technically my entranceway to the shelter. What do I sit at for wood? I did use a fair bit of wood for the uh, oh, what is it called ladders? That's what it was. I'm like looking right at them too. It's pretty bad. And holy crap, they're strip mining like no tomorrow. That is good. No way that that's a bad thing. And great, I woke one of these things up. So, hopefully he sticks in there for a little bit. I can get someone to dig down that way and pray for the best. Okay. And now it's leveled out too, so it kind of looks aesthetically better, I guess. I still just can't wait until I fully deck this all out with stone and then it's more uh, detailed and um, what's the other word I'm thinking of? <sighs> Define, that's the word I'm looking for. So I finished that quest and just leveled up. Another dwarf incoming here, let's slow it down for a second. Who do we got? Nar. Well it's definitely a different name but... Everyone's using steel. Did everyone get steel stuff? Okay, everyone did get steel stuff. So for him, because I got three steel pickaxes, I just need a steel um, hatchet, which won't be heard. He is an archer, so that actually works out well for me. No fire arrows, though. The other archers aren't using fire arrows, right? Yeah, okay. Um... Hopefully you don't hear that squeaking, my neighbor's dog. For now, I'm gonna give him that stuff. I do have a warrior's book. Give it to this guy. For now, I'm gonna give him a tough backpack until I make him archer gloves. Climber and swimmer aren't useful. Okay, so one thing at a time. First, he needs archer gloves. So let's go ahead and do that for him. Uh, equip. Next, he needs that steel hatchet. Steel axe, sorry. So he needs to make a steel bar. Fortunately, makes two. So I'll wait for that to happen. I mean, while he waits, we can mine and stuff with him, so... It'll be fine. I think they... Yeah, they did. Carpenter's book, eh? I do remember having a carpenter. Past him. There he is. Get that down quick enough and I don't have to worry about that stupid thing growing. Those out. Throw that up. So, so far, so good. I'm liking this. Tons of sheep need to be sheared. I'm gonna try to stop designating stuff. I'm bad for that. I'll just desi start designating like no tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna try to stop designating uh, overworld stuff so that I can focus on, you know, the mines and stuff. What did I get? Gold. Finally struck gold. Let's see about that, um, oh, the flower one. Great. Let's kick that back up. I'm going to make sure all my sheep are sheared. Unfortunately, they don't auto cut, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Did 
Did they collect everything? No, they did not. Still tons of them. Tons for them to collect. Got that. That way with it, go this way with it. Apparently they're trying to fight something up here. Maybe it was a spider. I probably will venture into here very shortly. All I have to do is really break down that wall, open this door, and then I'm uh, free to get in there. There's not really any reason to go in there. There's no guardians, which means there's no portal parts. So that room is basically useless for me. I mean, I can get a couple free beds, free wooden table and chair, a couple free doors, sofa. You know, I can dig all that stuff up, stuff up obviously, but it's nothing major. So put that down. That's the only thing I want to queue up on the overworld is shearing my sheep, but they're just... And I think I have a... Yeah, I'll be fine. Um, Let's see if that guy got those bars made. He did. Let's give myself one of those. See if I can get a helmet. Helmet, helmet, helmet. I can queue up one of those. I don't think I can make the uh, the armor. No, I need one more uh, leather. The rope is nothing. I can make the rope like nothing. Oh, there's one guy there, of course. Well, let's go for one of the uh, these ones then. Must, might as well designate them both out. And I'm not going to waste the uh, the teleport spell on that. They can run for that guy. So he got his. He's working on his. Now the reason they're down here now is because uh, the fighting caused them to fall off the edge. In other ways he wouldn't have been off that edge in any other case, so that is why. That's kind of a bad place for it, but whatever. Let's go ahead and throw a bridge down there. Look at that. One came to me. The reason I'm doing that is to get leather. I mean, I needed leather leather anyways to finish the boots off, but obviously this new guy, I need leather for his armor, so. I'm gonna go ahead and craft the, uh, the rope. And, uh, where do I stand with that flower? Five. Wait. Hold up. No, okay. I was gonna say, do I get the flower in that? But no, I get it from the uh, farming. Advanced weaponry. I think the grinding stone is for warriors. Yeah. So how many of those should I have? Two. That's not too bad. I can do two. Fortunately, they take stone, but I'm only costing two stone, so it's okay. Let's go ahead and equip those. That boosts up their warrior skill a little bit. 